Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio sign. Let us see what's coming towards you Scorpio. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is for the Scorpio sign please. Thank you so much guys for supporting the channel. Let's see what's coming towards you, Scorpio. What is the message for the Scorpio sign? Let's look into your situation. Let's look into your focus. And then the second part of the reading, we'll see what's coming towards you. I am channeling the month of June to July. We'll also, um, we will also look into your energy check-in. Okay, energy check-in for Scorpio. Wow. King of Pentacles in here, the Sun card is here, the Empress card in here, you have <clears throat> the Hermit card, oopsie, Scorpio, you have the Three of Cups, the Hermit card, the Three of Cups, and, you oh, you have the Ace of Cups, what's coming towards you? Okay, Scorpio, let's start your reading, <clears throat> okay. So, Scorpio, you're starting the reading with a Ten of Cups situation, okay? There's a Ten of Cups situation in here, and next to it is the Two of Wands. Um, I feel like the Ten of Cups situation, this is something that um, you're working on it, okay? Um, I'm doing this the early part of June, and I could feel that you, Scorpio, is very hands-on to something connected to life, prosperity, something connected to expansion as well. Um, you're really, really prioritizing what's, you know, what makes you happy with the Ten of Cups. Um, you could be booking some sort of travel adventure. You could be planning to uh, visit relatives in here, uh, visit, uh, like, travel, uh, explore, okay? You're, because the Sun card, um, this is sitting in your um this is sitting in your what you need to prioritize what's the advice of your higher self towards you you're actually in such a good spirit scorpio i mean right now real time um you are somehow like you're painting a picture of what do you want to do like the way you would you're choosing your next adventure okay i would say with the ten of cups in here the two of wands not only adventure but um you know, sometimes people could be, people can plan analytically, write words, this and that. You are more of the vision, the daydream, the pictures, you know, like you're very graphical or there's something very visual that you're doing, Scorpio. And it's connected, okay, this is how I see myself in the month of June. This is I, how I envision, you know, the places, maybe the person. But you've got your manifestation, your daydreaming, your vision board, and it's very picturette, like picture perfect, okay? With a Ten of Cups, a Two of Wands, a Sun card, uh, you're, getting, you're getting a lot of sleep, Scorpio. So for some of you, you are waking up early or... It could be that you are able to recover from your sleep. You're well rested at least the last two to three days. Scorpio, I could feel that you're very well rested. Like you could be tired today, but then the next day you really give it time to recuperate, to rest. You are in harmony with your manifestation, with your daydreaming, and you are in harmony with your body heart spirit and soul scorpio sun card this is very healthy not perfect i mean nobody's perfect but you're you're good you know especially the sun card is sitting in here you wake up with you know you wake up with the sun inside of you which means that you wake up and grateful okay you wake up and grateful you wake up and you plan Okay, you wake up and you're so grateful and you wake up and you plan for your next adventure, next next thing to do or next thing to explore and you're just visualizing Scorpio, yeah, you know, you could also be planning how do you want to retire, Scorpio, with the Ten of Pentacles in here, you're planning how to retire, you're planning how to save more money, you're planning your stability, you're seeing yourself, um, like you're really planning stability comfortability and just being in the present like you're 
your yourself needs you in the present moment so very good Scorpio I love it the ten of Pentacles very committed you're committed to the present. You wake up and you're committed to what you're going to do to this beautiful day to enhance your life, to achieve happiness, to explore. What else would you do would you to, you know, what 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 would you do to work hard productivity? So you're very very committed. Very committed to the present. You don't think so much like you don't like um you don't over overthink about like your your thoughts is about what can I do now to secure my future okay so you're very committed to your present Scorpio I love it um it could be because you know normally it's it's like the beginning of you know every when it's a new month we're very positive that we will we wanted to ha to have a good start so you're sitting you're sitting in that energy Scorpio you are starting the month of June in such high spirit Scorpio I would say now um what else is your um message scorpio you have a king of pentacles in here and the five of wands now the king of pentacles and the five of wands i believe this is a challenge okay um you're definitely looking into i could feel that you're looking into ways of saving your money um, improving your money i'm also picking up that with the king of pentacles you're very committed and focus to save your money or distribute your money or you're really really being wise okay king of pentacles the five of wands like um you're looking at your money and this is the amount of money i have and i want to make sure that this is you're saving okay guys you know i could really feel that you you want to improve i could feel scorpio that you want to improve your savings king of pentacles the five of wands in here yeah ten of cups you know it's giving me this feeling scorpio that you know what um um like happiness you know like um sense of adventure happiness or fun entertainment happiness you know hap the happiness that you get from entertainment fun um it doesn't have to be expensive so you're very very wise on that it doesn't have to be grand it just have to be soul you know so the king of pentacles in here this is you look at you okay this is you you're keeping your pentacles in here you look at your pentacles and you think very wisely of how do you spend your money even the way you spend your time so you're very wise into okay this is how i would like to spend my hard-earned money you have a five of wands i feel like the five of wands not you know not necessarily a challenge but it's a reminder that okay if you want to achieve some sort of happiness going through this entertainment going going through this adventure it doesn't have it doesn't have to be so expensive okay with the empress card in here because the five of wands is looking at the empress card you don't have the most grandest adventure to achieve a sense of happiness or contentment or thrill okay that's so strong in here ten of cups like you could have a very fulfilling happiness and sense of adventure you can do it even at home you can you know there is there is a sense of um there is a very wise uh you you know that you you've somehow you've got this little voice inside your head your head scorpio and you're following it like the voice of your intuition is speaking to you you know what scorpio there are ways to get some sort of um you know happiness and feeling feeling you know feeling you're living your life to the fullest to the best you don't have to be expensive okay so that's that's so strong in here because five of wands and you like it scorpio you're using your scorpio energy to plan something not so expensive but it will produce the same kind of thrill happiness and it would still bring you to a different kind of experience scorpio so the empress card your like the empress card in here um the empress card in here it speaks about the beauty of like the the beauty of your adventure uh the beauty of what what and how you want to achieve thrill adventure entertainment it doesn't have to be costly okay it, it's you know and also you're realizing five of wands you know what the more i the more you advance the more the more you plan in advance the more 
uh, you are going to get the most out of your adventure or you know like if if you do are going to i don't know because it's the it's probably you're thinking of rewarding yourself like you're planning ahead of time so you get a more economical uh, rates for some of you so lots of adventures scorpio I'm, I'm glad like i'm really really i'm i'm so proud of you scorpio the way i'm connecting with the energy is that you are really really thinking thoroughly of your heart and money and also how do you say that word it's a word not organically but more of um your conscious buying do you call do you call that conscious buying like conscious echo you know like um you're very mindful of the carbon print as well and so on and so forth but you're building something in here scorpio with the ten of cups you're building your next adventure and your next adventure it will give you some sort of looking forward and thrill and as i said it doesn't have to be so cost costly it just have to be connected to your soul so i'm so just proud of you scorpio soul not really so costly okay although i know a scorpio always give the best to yourself scorpio i have never met a stingy scorpio i've never met a stingy scorpio uh, especially when it comes to yourself but this one you're just simply wise you know very very wise scorpio okay so that's like your energy checked in where you prop where your energy is heading you know june july now the last reading scorpio let's see what's coming towards you june july what's going to connect with you in terms of love career money and general situationship scorpio well you have a hermit card uh you could be dealing with a virgo okay let's look at this hermit hermit card who is this hermit card oh five of swords oh my gosh the five of swords <laughs> the seven of swords i knew it because i feel like this hermit card this is a person who is hiding they're in hiding they're incognito let's see the devil card could be a capricorn it could be a virgo but okay you know what i pulled it in the middle and all of the devilish energy came out well first of all what's come what's gonna what's coming towards you in june and july is definitely a hermit it means that you have not talked to them i'm being drawn to look at this five of swords if you look at the five of swords in here there's an eye okay so someone is someone is eyeing on you scorpio the month of june to july someone is slowly coming out of the dark someone is slowly coming out of the incognito and someone is slowly wanting to wanting to talk wanting to reach out they've stayed so long in the incognito mode uh, to make sure that if they do come back to you you have probably forgotten the devil card energy the seven of swords the five of swords the five of swords this is like they've done something behind your back the seven of swords they acted very selfishly and it disappointed you and hurt you and the devil card i would say they love you they like you but they betrayed you or they did something not nice okay and they even acted as if you were wrong and they were right so this person is completely i would say they were acting so selfish and immature but um you guys especially your person this is number five in may so this person they've reflected upon their action scorpio they definitely have reflected upon their action this is their next move okay this person incognito this they're still incognito right now it could be around the time of the new moon or the full moon or look into look into the cosmic if you look at the astrology calendar it has something to do with the moon probably in a water sign okay the the moon will be in the water sign that this person will connect with you or the moon will be in virgo okay um so this person scorpio what they want to bring is the three of cups if you look at the three of cups in here the three of cups is all the three of cups is all about dating and getting to know this is friendship this is also like um gathering um there is a flower here and it looks old so this person would like to i mean they have to talk about the past they have to explain the past 
I think this person, one of the biggest thing that they have realized is that I will never be able to come back fully with Scorpio if I do not explain the past or solve the issue in the past. But look at that. This is the history. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, the Devil card. So they know that they've got a lot of things to explain and clean up, you know, if they want you back. They know that. Three of Cups in here. This is a start. Because, yeah, this is what they offer you. So, Scorpio, you have an offer of love, and this person is willing to invest. They have the power, they have the time, they have the money, and they have everything they need to invest with you. If you look at this, this is number seven, and this is number three, okay? Um, they can start all over again with you. And seven of pentacles, they just need your permission. It's like a... You know, it's a psychic reading, Scorpio, where, you know what, I'm here, I'm back. All you have to say, Scorpio, is say yes, and I will do everything for you and me, basically, Scorpio. Like, they will do all of the work for you and them, Scorpio. Yeah, uh, okay, they want me to keep it in reverse, okay, yeah, three and four. Like, um, I think this person is going to be very honest and all all out for you Scorpio you just say yes and I'm not gonna give you a problem I'm gonna fix the problem Scorpio they would even tell you hey Scorpio before you reject me before you say no please you know think before you react somehow begging Scorpio somehow teary-eyed Scorpio this person is teary-eyed this is what I have for you beautiful Scorpio thank you so much for connecting with me thank you so much for being here if you would like to further connect with me Click the bell, click subscribe, and I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye, Scorpio.